Pride and Prejudice in the world of a zombie apocalypse. I am intrigued, I am on board with this, there's no way this movie's gonna have wonky pacing anywhere in it. Alright. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. So Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is ultimately the Jane Austen novel Pride and Prejudice in the world of a zombie apocalypse. Just with zombies sprinkled in. And I do mean sprinkled in because as we've seen in the world of zombie shows and zombie movies, I mean, there's zombies everywhere in our entertainment world. The fact that something takes place in a zombie world doesn't necessarily make the zombies the forefront and the point of the story. It's usually the characters in the story interacting, but it just happens to take place in a zombie world. That's the case with this movie. That being said, I could have gone for a little less Pride and Prejudice, a little more zombies. So don't get me wrong, this movie had some cool stuff. It had some cool zombie scenes. That scene where the guy like saws a zombie's head off and is from the first person of the zombie saw it in the trailer and the head drops out and he steps on the head. That's actually at the beginning of the movie, but nothing in the subsequent two hours following that scene is as interesting as that shot. The lead actress was cool. I thought she was a kick-ass chick, did a kick-ass job. But really it's two hours of, ooh, we want to get married, ooh, suitors, and it's, it's Pride and Prejudice. Now you're ultimately putting up with another love triangle movie. Just happens to take place in the zombie apocalypse. And do both the male love interests have to sound like Christian Bale from The Dark Knight? No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm a very damaged man. Yeah, it's okay to have people talk normal in a movie. I'm just saying. And really, I remember when the interesting point hit the movie. I actually looked at my watch. I was like, okay, we've been here for an hour. And then the interesting concept actually revealed itself. And then after that, more suitor shit. And love triangle stuff. And the fact that the concept sounds really cool, I'm sure it's a great book. I'm sure the book you read it, you're like, hey, this is uh, just Pride and Prejudice, but a zombie world. And it probably should have stayed a book. I mean, just things that are books don't always translate well to screen. I'm just saying this movie grinds to a halt on more than a few occasions. It has wonky pacing, some weird editing choices where you look at the editing and you're like, I, sure. If you thought that was a good idea, why not? Now, if you have read Pride and Prejudice or you like the story, I feel like you're gonna have more fun with this movie because you're gonna enjoy the integration of the zombie world into the story you know. You're gonna pick out the parallels, you're gonna be having a better time. I feel like I have to say this movie is more geared towards fans of Pride and Prejudice, less geared towards fans of zombie movies. In that, I'm not the demographic. This movie missed me, it was kind of wasted on me. Admittedly, there were some cool zombie scenes in this movie, but they're too few and far between between the boring-ass love story among characters you don't really care a lot about. I don't care about this main girl's sisters. I just don't give a shit. So in the end, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies had a good lead character and has an interesting concept and a cool concept, but the execution, that execution being some of the pacing that just puts you to sleep in a zombie apocalypse movie, the other characters really aren't interesting at all. The climax of the movie looks like it's gonna get interesting and you're like, all right, well, no, it's just still not. There are much better zombie movies out there and there are much better romance movies out there. So I will say Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, I'm probably not gonna remember it in T minus one day. Yeah, already forgot. All right guys, so Pride, Prejudice and Zombies, have you seen it? What did you think about about it or what's your favorite zombie apocalypse movie? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.